Okay, let's see if the video is still jittery. No, it looks fine. But anyways, that, that's Scott with the Pallet Hawaii Tours up there. Uh, he went ahead of me. I was talking to one of uh, our neighbors that live right, actually right next to us right now. Um, informing her about some of the, the conditions that's changed here. Um, you know, giving her some safety tips and stuff. But uh, yeah, see that? we have activity over there. Well, steaming activity. So, let's go on up the road. But yeah, as y'all can see, this is all new. And we've got steam coming across the road, which we've had that in this location before. But uh, let's go check that little little tiny hole that was spitting sulfur, see if it's grown any. Here comes a pal. I don't want him in the video, actually. Maybe we do. There you go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this location has been changing. So we'll, we'll come back to that. He wants to film it real quick. Uh, we have more steaming over here in the woods. And it looks like someone's pulled these power lines right here across the road. Uh, they weren't here the other day. At least I don't think they were. Oh yeah, we got uh, steaming. Okay, from, well, as y'all have probably noticed from all of our other videos, that uh, when we start seeing this in an area, uh, we even got it coming out of the side of a little mound right there. Huh. So yeah, when we see this in an area, which is this area right through here, um, it's very possible that we're gonna end up seeing another active uh, fissure or vent open up. Mm. Yep, Here's another one of our power poles. Oh. But uh, yeah, this is actually where the car was stuck in the crack. Someone pulled it out and moved it down the road um, for the owners. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because if it was still stuck down here in the crack and the crack had gotten bigger, which it has definitely gotten bigger, um, and it fell in, you know, the insurance company might have, you know, paid off it, you know, paid it off as totaled, but. Uh, now that someone pulled it out and put it down the road, uh, they're probably not going to pay for it. So yeah, so I'm not going to go any further up because this is pretty much where it is. But you know, this is where people's been driving off the side of the road to get through. But uh, that's not going to last much longer. And we got someone coming in down there, white vehicle. Uh, we don't have the little blue light on the top, so we know it's not a cop. You know, we, we've had an issue with that uh, lately. There's a uh, people reporting in on our neighborhood website that they're receiving uh, parking tickets. Yep, citing obstruction of traffic. Uh, do you see any traffic? Most of these roads are dead ends, so they're not through fares. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little whiff of something there. It wasn't very pleasant, so I'm getting out of here. It's not sulfurs. I think it's just the steaming vegetation smell, but you know, and it may not be harmful, but I don't know for sure. But it sure doesn't smell good. It's, it's one of those smells I just don't like. But uh, steaming's getting a little bit better, or a little bit worse. So we're going to check this out. Yeah, this is that little sulfur hole. I'm not sure if I've shown this or not before, but uh, yeah, it's gotten it's gotten bigger. Um, it doesn't seem to be super active, but where there's sulfur, there's, there's usually lava. <laughs> or in this case, magma. Oh. The poor little uh, wall is cracked, but uh, I don't think it matters because if this place goes active again, uh, I don't think it's going to survive. And and I say I'd say 48 hours we might see some serious activity out here. We don't know. Let's see if I'm right. I've been watching these patterns, so we'll, we'll find out. So all right, guys, this is Moku Street. Uh, it's 4:53 p.m. May 23rd, 2018. Uh, see you next time.